Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing my first weekly vlog and I have ordered a few things from Look Fantastic last week. It's not quite enough to make it into its own like haul but I thought I'd treat myself. It was obviously Valentine's Day very recently so I thought treat yourself. So I ordered a few things from Look Fantastic. I say a few things, it's like it was still a £90 order so it was still a lot of them lot of stuff like i said it's not enough to warrant its own video so i thought let's start the week as we mean to go on and i'll do a mini look fantastic haul so the first thing that i got was a benefit brow uh this is the great brow basics and you get three products in here so you get the precisely my brow pencil everything i got was in shade four and then this is um a lot thinner of a pencil so it's very like very easy to define your eyebrows um and then it also comes with because i couldn't decide because i had the benefit cabral which is like the pomade that you do your eyebrows with um i had i've honestly had the same pot for about four years and yeah it was very old very expired very dry um uh, so i was pressing really hard as i was doing my eyebrows and that the shape was really disappearing you can't really see the shape of my eyebrows so when i use these products i was like wow like a little bit goes a very long way and you don't have to press hard at all you barely have to touch the skin for it to make a mark um so the first day that i did it which was saturday so the 13th of feb they i did have slug eyebrows i'm gonna be honest they were very sluggish because i didn't realize how pigmented the products were um so the second product is the goof proof brow pencil what i love about this is that you've got again this is the pencil so it's on a slant and i use this today uh, and these brows are a lot better than what like my first attempt of doing my brows were like they're a lot less sluggish um so i, I kind of use the pointier end to define the tail of my brow and then kind of put it on it's front like that just to flick up and fill out the rest and I'm definitely still learning but in comparison to the brows the other day these are definitely an improvement so I love that it has that on one end and then you have a spoolie on the other and it is looking a little bit orange because I've done my makeup in a different way since doing my Rachel Leary video um, I used to do my eyebrows first and then since doing that video I actually do my eyebrows pretty much last um, so there is a little bit of like foundation that I've combed through the brows. That's why this is looking a little bit, bit, bit discoloured. Um, but I was unsure when I knew that I wanted to get new eyebrow products, um, which one to go for, whether to get the precisely my brow pencil or the um, goof proof brow pencil, because like I said, I only ever tried the Cabral pomade, which is a really good pomade for beginners. But I thought, I've been doing that, like filling my eyebrows in with that for like years now, so I think I'm ready for something else. I did want a pencil, but wasn't sure. I think just after using both pencils, my favourite at the minute is the Goof Proof one because you have the option to have a little bit more defined with the tip of the pencil, and then you've also got the option just to fill in the rest really quickly um, as it gets a bit flatter. So that's my favourite at the minute out of the two. Um, but another way I want to try it is, because I've got the Gimme Brow little brow setter. Another way that I want to do my eyebrows, which is what I might do next, is to put no products in my brow first and just comb it through with this so they're sticking up. And then go in with the Precisely My Brow, brow Pencil, just do, do like natural hairs. Because these are still quite... In terms of like eyebrow fashion, these are kind of out of fashion now, I guess, because they're still quite blocky and they're like very natural, bushy eyebrows are in fashion. Um, and I just didn't have the products to really do that. I'm not really sure it would really suit me, but I think when I do my brows next, that's what I'm going to do. So that was the first thing that I got. I really wanted and needed really because my eyebrow, I had stuff I had before was just so, it was just so expired um so i got this set of three from benefit then i decided i wanted to get some primers as well because i have noticed my pores on the side of my nose are quite big at the minute whenever i am doing my makeup which is just basically for videos my 
foundation or like my concealer just like you can just see these like black dots on my nose and it's just very obvious to me um that my pores are there and like there's nothing that sorts that out and I remember like years ago I got a tester sample of the Benefit Pore Professional and I thought I don't know which one to get because it's been a long time um since I've had a primer I'm such a creature of habit when it comes to makeup I buy the same things over and over again if I know they work and don't really venture out of my comfort zone too far so I thought I'm gonna try the Benefit Professional Primer again, the original one, which is what I liked. And then I seen this pack of three. I thought, amazing, I can try all three, see which one I like, and then when they run out, get the full size of whichever one I prefer. So at the minute, I only have one open, which is the Pore Professional Original one. And this is definitely worth it i didn't really notice a difference back when i used the, this primer for the first time a couple of years ago i didn't notice the difference because at the time my pores weren't that noticeable so i didn't notice the difference and as soon as i put this on and put my foundation on top i've noticed such a difference that the pores are filled in they're covered i love the silicone texture of it when i put it on i really am enjoying using a primer and i'm really enjoying doing my makeup at the minute i think it looks a little bit different from the products that i'm using um so i've been really enjoying getting back into makeup so that's the first primer the second is the hydrate primer again i haven't tried this yet but I am very excited to. And then the last primer in this set is the Pearl Primer. And I'm assuming this gives you almost like a strobe effect. Um, which I do have an illuminating number seven primer underneath all of my makeup. And then I do this like in my T-zone, like the original one. But I would be interested to see how this compares in terms of my, like, my illuminating one. See if it gives you a bit of like more of a highlight, more of a sheen. So I got the professional, um, the trio, again, they're kind of like the travel size, but I think it's perfect just to try all them out, see which one I prefer, and then go from there, similar to what I did with the brow products, trial them out, see which one I prefer. Then I really wanted to get a cream contour stick, and I was really searching on the fantastic, like, most highly rated or like cream concealers and seeing which was like really good to get the darker shades and use as a cream contour and I really didn't have a clue and then I've come across this which is the Clinique Chubby Stick and um, this is a product that I've heard about for a long time the Chubby Sticks um I just was never really sure how good they were going to be um and I really really love this it's so so easy i think if you're like a beginner in cream contour it is perfect um so this is what it looks like it is in the shade uh 01 curvy contour um and this is what the shade is and if you're anything close to my skin color or complexion it's ideal i just put this at the top here a little bit on my nose and then i have a real techniques like buffing brush and i've really got into using um brushes on my face really enjoying that so i suppose just using a sponge all the time so this is the clinic chubby stick really enjoying that definitely making a difference to my makeup and i'm really enjoying doing my makeup at the minute then i thought concealers i am a massive fan of the um age rewind concealer and i have used that for a very long time but the color i have is more of a holiday concealer color it's a little bit like it's very similar to my um natural like it's very similar to my face color and i want something a bit brightening underneath the eyes so i thought i may as well try the famous nars radiant creamy concealer and my shade is i went light to vanilla and this is a really nice light concealer that isn't too like white um, it's definitely brightening my under eyes and I'm just really, I was a, a bit underwhelmed when I first used this, I thought it was going to be even more creamy than it is, but second application, second use, second use this morning, really enjoying it um, and we'll keep on using it and see how I like it. And then the last thing just to end up this little haul section in this weekly vlog is i wanted a different blush massively a blush person really got into the blush over the past couple of years i wanted a lighter blush because the one i have is a, 
that more of a true pink blush. I wanted a lighter pink. And I got this one from Rimmel. It's the Maxi Blush. And this is the colour. It's 001 Third Base. And it's got a bit of a gold reflex to it. So that is everything in my little Look Fantastic haul. Uh, yeah, so that's the products on my face. I'm really enjoying doing my makeup at the minute. Um, other than that, what else have I been up to today? So today is Monday the 15th of Feb. <clears throat> it's pancake day tomorrow, so of course I'm going to bring you along for that. I went on a walk this morning with my friend, had a bit of a catch up, um, so she distanced of course, and then yeah, I just sat down, painted my face, and then chatting to you guys about my little haul. So yeah, that's the beginning of this weekly vlog. Hopefully you stay tuned to see what I get up to for the rest of the week. So that's the Tesco shop done. Um, it's now Wednesday, I think the last time I spoke to you was Monday, but yeah, yesterday was pancake day, had a couple of pancakes, um, but I didn't have too many, mainly because um, we had some pancakes being delivered, not pancakes, sorry, donuts being delivered. And for Valentine's Day, my coat off. For Valentine's Day, Lewis got me um, a Project D donut, a big massive love heart, and it came quite late, so it's meant to come on Valentine's Day on the Sunday, and yeah, it just come late. So Project D actually sent us two boxes of four donuts, so we ended up with having eight donuts. And if you know Project D donuts, they are huge. I'm trying to get out of the way of the steering wheel. I've not placed my caramel at a very, like, very good angle, but yeah um we've got loads of donuts at home i'll insert a picture here of what they look like um so there were all the easter range they so had three mini egg three cream egg a lemon curd and a kit kat bunny like raspberry fudge one so donuts like that are best eaten when they're fresh so i did have a donut yesterday like four then by the time i come around to having the pancakes i was like pretty much all sugared out so i didn't really like i fancied them but not <clears throat> not as much if i had i've had the donut so i had my do uh, my pancakes yesterday um i don't know why i'm taking my coat off i'm literally just about to go over the road and park in aldi um to get some more bits actually do i yeah, no, I'm going to go to Aldi and get some more bits, um, just some cheaper things. Um, so yeah, that's where I left you yesterday. Um, today's, like I said, Wednesday, very chilled. Just come out to Tesco, like the big Tesco Extra, to get a few things. Um, I was meant to pick up an uh, Argos delivery from my mother-in-law, but we actually forgot to bring the Argos card, which is like so annoying because it's like, well, it's like 10 minutes away from where I live. But it's a journey I don't I haven't really done before. So I was a bit like not nervous, but more I kind of just want to get the drive done. So I know that I've done it and it's over with. So now I'm thinking, do I go back, pick up the Argos card, and then come back out? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna eat my lunch whilst I'm in the car. I've got a Tesco meal day. I've got this chicken katsu curry one, which is a new one. Um oh it smells very like curry fried. Hopefully I don't spill any of this on me. So yeah, I got a Tesco's meal deal whilst I was in there. I've not had any breakfast yet. Um, I don't really have any plans for the rest of the day, really. It's pretty much just like a supermarket run. So I'm going from Tesco's to Aldi, then I'm going to Morrison's to pick something up, potentially coming back in to town to get something from Argos. So it's pretty much just like a come drive with me day, it, it feels like. But yeah, that's all I have planned for now. Um, maybe I take you into the supermarkets. It's not... But like this is a massive Tesco's and I'm used to going to like a, a Lidl, which is like 
a, quite a bit smaller than this. And that actually felt a bit overwhelming because usually when I come to this massive Tesco's, I'm with Lewis. So it doesn't seem as big, if that makes sense. And I was like traipsing around trying to find some buttermilk. Take a man. Yeah, I was trying to find some buttermilk because we're going to make homemade chicken burgers at the weekend. Um, literally, I had no idea what it was. I actually didn't find it in the end. I think sometimes Tesco's can be too big. And that was a big, a big Tesco's. And it was at this point that I was thinking, mm, where is he going? Please don't get into the car next to me. Please don't get into the car next to me. Oh, God, he got into the car next to me. Mm. Awkward. I'm going to finish my meal down. Then maybe see you in one of the supermarket trips that I do. So that officially makes three supermarkets in one day check tesco's audi morrison's you would not believe how difficult it is to find buttermilk who would have thought so it's now one um and i'm just about to make my way home i've been out the house since about 10 o'clock um <clears throat> very very ready to get back i need to wash his hair it's so greasy um yeah and just to chill out finally so i'll catch up with you when i get back home and see what else i get up to for the rest of the day probably won't be much. As you can tell it's night time now so I've been to like all the supermarkets in my area today basically really bothered to like a grocery haul. One thing that has arrived today is I placed a Holland and Barrett order and this might be like really boring to some of you but I thought I may as well just turn this vlog into a series of mini hauls like I did my look fantastic one at the beginning of the week. So I placed an order at Holland and Barrett for basically a bunch of fruit, nuts and seeds because I wanted to make my own like fruit and nut mix. Um, and fruit, like dried fruit and nuts are so expensive. Like this whole order cost me about 22 to 25 pounds. Uh, so let me show you what I've got. First thing is I've got some sun-dried tomato. Uh, that's how tired I am. Not sun-dried tomatoes. Tomatoes. Sun-dried mango pieces. Um, I also got some dried cherries. A massive bag of dried cranberries. And then seeds, I just got some pumpkin seeds. I really like pumpkin seeds. And then nuts, I'll start with the biggest bag. Got some whole cashews. I really love cashews. I got into them last week when I went to Lidl. I got the loose nuts that you get. But yeah, cashews are expensive. Nuts, dried fruit, they're all expensive. Um, so yeah, I got some cashews. Then I got some whole Brazil nuts. I do really like Brazil nuts. Um, so I got some of those. Then last thing I got is some pistachio kernels. So these are already out the shell, so you don't have to worry about taking them out the shell. Um, so yeah, that is my really exciting quick little Holland and Barrett's haul. So I have left counselling, setting up for my counselling right until the last minute. Like always, I always think I have enough time to do everything that I want to do before my session. And then it gets like 10 minutes before I'm like, shit, I'm rushing to get everything set up. So I like to have my notebook next to me um, straight after I've had my counselling session. So that once the session is over, I like to journal everything that we've spoken about so that I can see my own progression. So that's why I like to have my journal next to me. Um, and I also make notes. Because uh, I have two weeks in between each session. I like to make notes in between. So I know what I can kind of talk about in the sessions. So that's what I'm doing now. Just looking at my notes. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Lewis.
so I've journaled from this journaling wrote in my book so that was my fourth counselling session and I always like to journal afterwards and take an hour out if I can afterwards of like not being on my phone not talking to anybody really because I really like to take that time to digest everything that's just happened in the session and um it's just a bit of self-care really so now that I finished journaling um, I'm going to take about half an hour out and then I think I'm going to go out on a walk potentially meet a friend so I'm going to go off my laptop go off my phone and just get some fresh air and do a bit of self-care so that's my plan um, for the rest of today and I'm very happy with how that counselling session went it was very positive um, and yeah I feel really good about it. So it's now Friday, so it should be the last day of this weekly vlog. I just thought I'd quickly fill you in on what I've been up to this morning. So I'm currently in the middle of getting ready. I'm about to film a video with February favourites and I've got my lunch. I've just got a cheese and onion pasty, some cucumber and some tomato. So yeah, I'm just about to get ready, do my makeup, my hair is done, just got out of my face and then I'm going to film a February favourite. So I have just filmed my February favourites. I've literally like just seconds ago stopped filming it. Um, so I've now got a mess around me everywhere. But today has been, I feel like it's gone really quickly. Um, what did I do this morning? So we waited for the Tesco's delivery to come, which was late. So I worked out, I think you should see a couple of clips. So I've done some yoga, I just chilled. Um, and then I had a shower, obviously got ready, did my glam. So I really actually like my makeup today. Um, I was inspired by, I think it was Kylie Jenner, I think like the pops of the yellow on the inner corners. And I thought, yeah, I actually have a yellow that colour and I love it. I feel like it's very spring makeup. It's getting me ready for spring and definitely ready for a change of scenery and change of weather. Don't get me wrong, I love the winter and I love um, the cold and wrapping it warm and layers and winter fashion a lot more than summer fashion. I think I'm just ready for a change of scenery and something different. Um, so yeah, I had a shower, did my makeup, just filmed my February favourites. Um, and then for the rest of the day, I think I'm going to, oh, actually that's what I was going to tell you. Um, so I am going to do some secret birthday planning for Lewis. His birthday is towards the end of March, but he's turning 25 and I don't know about anybody else, but I really feel like 25 is a big one because you go from 21 to 30 and there's like no big birthday in between. I feel like 25 to me is a big birthday. Um, and fingers crossed we should be away for it. Um, we have booked a log cabin in Cornwall for his birthday, which is the 22nd of March. And we should hopefully be away for five nights, Monday to Friday in Cornwall. So my plan is to just decorate the cabin. Um, in all things birthday related i want to get um like a 25 balloons like birthday banners bunting loads just loads of balloons and party bits so i'm going to go on to amazon and see what sort of things they have available um because like i don't need to order it now it's coming towards the end of feb and i've got like a month to plan and to sort things but I like, I'm a very organised person. I like, I get excited when it comes to things like this. So I'm currently looking on Amazon for party decorations, um, just anything that I can think of so that it looks as if I've made a real effort for him. And if we are away, that I, I'll have to just send him upstairs in the cab and just say, like, you need to go into the red room for like 20 minutes because I need to decorate. So what I'll just flip you around and show you what it is that I'm looking at at the moment. 
So I'm looking at just this like happy birthday. Um, it's like a balloon collection. So you've got the actual happy birthday, you've got some black balloons, like white balloons, because I didn't know like what would look the most masculine because a lot of these are like pink and rose gold and stuff. Um, so I've already got added these 25 balloons. I don't know if this is meant to be like a hmm like an anniversary balloon situation. I mean it said no anniversary. It literally says happy birthday. Am I stupid? So I'm thinking yes I want some happy birthday balloons the 25 so the silver is going to go because this is silver um i have actually got a list lewis secret birthday plan so i've already bought him his presents um banners bunting um card so yeah at the minute i've got the balloons in there banners um bunting I was going to look at maybe doing a sash, but I think he'll just, I don't think he'll wear it. I feel like it would be more fun for me than for him if I was to get him a sash. I do need to get him a card, but I was looking at, I'll just flip you out ground. So I, I was looking actually at a cocktail subscription box because you should know, like, if you watch my channel and you've seen my other videos, you will know that I do a series on my channel called Testing, which is where I test um, subscription boxes, um, not just beauty subscription boxes, that's mainly what it is on my channel at the minute, but I have like a crafting one, um, I have another one on the way, it's meant to be like a mindfulness one, um, I'm thinking a cocktail maker one could be really really fun and I would definitely film that video whilst I was down at the cabin and we can make cocktails, I feel like that would be a good like joint it's almost like a content idea so for videos for me but also like a birthday idea that we can have cocktails we've got a hot tub a barbecue so i feel like cocktails in the hot tub what better way to spend your 25th birthday so and i can't remember the name of the the subscription box i looked at before but if i just type in cocktail sub subscription box uk because his favorite cocktails are long island iced tea oh, i was called taste or no is it or muddle box there was one that i don't think is actually like around anymore i think it, let's have a look i think it's muddle box yeah it's muddle box that because of covid they're not doing one-off boxes so i think it's taste actually so I'm on the website now and basically you get all of the cocktails, um, all of the alcohol, sorry, um, that you would need to either make one or two cocktails. And you can make more, or you can order more like drinks or types of cocktails. So like I'd probably get a, like I said, a long iron iced tea for him and maybe like a porn star martini for me. And then we can like make them, we've got like a cocktail shaker and everything, um, which reminds me I need to put that in soak so it's clean so when we can take it with us this is how like i like my brain works i need to like organize everything have it as a plan pack it but we're still not going for like four weeks i just like to get i'm just excited i really really hope that we are able to go away um for his birthday i think we all could do with a change of scenery and just a something different so i was thinking about ordering him a cocktail subscription box um so I'll have a look at this website, see what I get up to. Um, and at the minute, I just have to put things in the basket because to be totally honest, I am waiting for payday, so I can't order much now. Um, but yeah, I'm starting these secret birthday planning plans ready for his 25th birthday. And I'm not worried about him seeing this because I know he does not watch my videos. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to today. Just secret birthday planning, organising. Um, and I'll obviously bring you along with me if we can go to the cabin. I'll show you, hopefully, me decorating the whole cabin for him. And you want to get him a cake or something. Um, and show you the whole process of his birthday and the surprises I'm planning now. Which hopefully you'll see in the vlog and how they come together. Um, whenever, you know, if we can go and that be in March. So, yeah, that is the plans for today. I think I'm going to leave this vlog here. It's now Friday, so I've brought you along with me all week, my first weekly vlog. Um, 
and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I feel like it's been slightly boring, to be honest. I don't really feel like I've done much or been up to much, but I hope that nonetheless you've all enjoyed it. Um, and let me know in the comments if you have, because um, I can always do some more weekly vlogs if you enjoyed this video. Other than that, please give this video a big like, leave me a comment, don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Instagram. Um, on that, I'll see you guys in the next video.